Hi everybody, it's a rare podcast on a Saturday morning today. Um, I couldn't get round in time yesterday, I had lots of entries coming in for your competition and your challenges, so I had to look through them last night and make a, ju a judgement and decision um, by this morning. I've just dropped off some prizes, so um, I've been to four people's houses, hello to everyone, big shout outs. Um, I've uh, The quiz winner this week was again Isla. Isla was um, snuck in after about four minutes of the quiz. So Isla, congratulations for winning the quiz. So you've been uh, treated to a little surprise. Um, next week I'm thinking of doing a little bit of a harder quiz because I think that was a little bit easy this one was this week. So a little bit of a harder quiz incoming next Thursday. So well done to Isla. Um, in the press up challenge, the winner this week was Ellie who managed to get 26. A um, bit of controversy around Mr Flowers' entry. I had a girl from school count for me how many press-ups I did. I said 30, but it transpired to be 24. So if you beat 24, you beat Mr Flower. So Ellie, well done. Big shout out to you, Ellie, with 26. You're the winner of this week's PE activity. Thank you to all of those others who entered. Erica, Alex, Ben, um, Ruben. I think there's a few more. I'm, I'm trying my best to remember everyone's names. So Ellie, massive win. Just um, spotted you. You've got a lovely dog. Said hello to you there as well. Isla and Ellie winners. And another winner was um, Ben. Ben um, for his um, British Sign Language, his efforts there, and for completing all of the challenges. Ben Lee is on the leaderboard at the moment for the most amount of challenges completed for year six. So a big shout out to Ben. Um, he was one of the Sign Language winners. And our final winner was Maisie. Maisie, you won as well. You were a joint um, Sign Language winner with Ben. Yeah, I loved your little message with your sister. Um, you look like you've really got a good understanding of the alphabet and how to uh, construct a sentence. So thank you to everyone for entering. I'm going to try and get round to reply to all of your entries. They all get watched and viewed, so don't ever think if you send me something that I don't see it. I really, really cherish and value everything that you sent me in, so thank you for that. So big shout out again to uh, Ellie, Ben, Maisie, and to uh, Isla. There are four winners today. Um, I hope you've had a good day. It's extremely wet here. Um, I was thinking of going out for a run today, but it's gone extremely wet. Our first bad day of weather, I guess, for a while. But again, it's looking like it's picking up um, for the week ahead. I'm going to post a video tomorrow, probably tomorrow afternoon or early evening, around about four or five, something like that, um, just to detail you with our new week learning from Monday. Um, and update with you, uh, update you with everything that I know going ahead and thinking forward um, to what this next term and beyond holds for us all. Keep your chins up, keep doing, you're doing them absolutely amazingly. I have to say we're by far the best class in terms of uh, work submitted. I, I knew that would be the case. You're all working so hard. Anyway, enough of that. I'll talk to you tomorrow where I'll give you a little bit more detail about our uh, home learning for week one. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Well done to all the winners.